model context protocol because there's no native support added for MCP servers yet. You have to use community node. If you go to this repository, model context protocol slash servers on GitHub, there is a list of servers here that you can use. This website is one of the directory sites for MCP servers. You can Google for others as well because you have to use a community node. This cannot be used on N810 Cloud, which is a hosted version of N810. You'll have to self-host it using Docker or on your VPS or using a cloud provider like DigitalOcean or Hetzner. I use Coolify and I use a Hetzner VPS, but a lot of people use things like Railway or Elastio, I think it's called. Search for N810 here and you can do a one click install or you can simply use the installation instructions. Here is documentation on how to self host using N810. You also have starter kits here for self hosted N810 or you can just use Docker to install it on your local machine and they play around with it. This is a self hosted version that I have. In my example, I have added Google Maps and search tools to my MCP and these are MCP servers to my AI agent here. Once you have self-hosted N910, you have to go to settings and go to community nodes here. And then you have to search for N810 nodes MCP. Click on install, paste that N810 nodes MCP. You have to install it. It will not allow me to install because I already have it installed. The next thing that you'll need to do is to change your Docker configuration on your server. If you are hosting on Elastio, DigitalOcean, you'll have to change the Docker compose file. In Qualify, this is where I change it. Edit compose file, add this N810 community packages, allow tool usage to true. If you don't enable this, N810 will block execution of any community developed tool added to your AI agent. You may have to redeploy the Docker container. Sometimes simply changing the environment once it has been already started won't work. Once you add that, restart your N810 installation. Now let's create an AI agent that will use an MCP server from scratch. Let's create a new workflow. Start with the chat trigger and add an AI agent. Add an open AI model. Open AI chat model. Going to use GPT-40 mini and I'm going to use my credentials for OpenAI chat model. If you are doing this for the first time, you'll need to create a new credential and enter your API key for OpenAI. You can use other models as well. And then for tool, this is where you use MCP. Just type in MCP and then MCP client tool will appear here. So I have already these MCP tools already installed. Let's do a brave search. Let's go to our model context protocol server list. We have the reference servers. We have the third party integration. Some companies have provided MCP servers for their services, wrapping their APIs. And also we have community servers here. Brave is somewhere here. How do we install these MCP servers? You click on that. If you know a little bit of programming, you will understand this better, but it's nothing complicated. Choose the NPX option if it is available. If you're comfortable with Docker, it's probably is much more secure, but look for any volume mounts. These servers are running on your local machine. If you are not running N810 itself in a containerized environment, this will have access to other files on your server. Be yeah. careful. I think Docker may be a better choice as long as there are no suspicious volume mounts. You can also always clone that code to your local machine. And if you have cursor installed, you can just ask, are there any suspicious code here? The agent should be able to find any malicious code if present, if you are using cursor. Copy this bit, the arguments. You will need to, let me just show you how I do it. MCB client, which stands for node package execute. It's a node package manager feature where you can run a node package as an executable. Hyphen Y means that when you run the command, say yes to any prompt that may appear. Paste that model context protocol server brave search that we just copied from the documentation and also copy the brave API key, anything under ENV, copy that and put that here. If you can see it, just go to expression, Brave API key like that. Once you log into Brave, create an API key, copy that, come back here to the automation under Brave API key, give that key over there. I'm just going to say Brave account demo, save that, then tool description set automatically. These are the various operations that you can execute with the MCP server. You can execute a tool, get a optimized prompt template that the LLM can then refer to while attempting to use a tool. 
list all the available prompts you have available list of resources which i don't know what and list all the tools and read resource again i haven't looked into it this one i am going to name brave list tools rename that and set automatically list tools that's just for listing the tools if i ask what tools do you have available now we should go to list tools and you can see the logs here what it is trying to do we have the brave web search tool brave local search tool it actually gives you the schema and everything which of course when the actual result comes back as a json and then the agent actually formats it and give that in a readable nice format back to us in order to execute the tool you have to actually create another node add a tool to the ai agent brave execute this is what i give the naming actually matters it can be anything but it has to make sense we are actually going to execute the tool and the tool name has to be supplied by after looking at a list of tools the llm things which tools i can use to fulfill the user's request and it is actually the agent that will set the tool name here you'll have to do expression just add this from dollar sign from ai tool tool description tool parameters click on the stars here to say define automatically by the model now if you say reset this session here and save it and say can you search for activities to do in london for example it will execute the actual brave tool so you can see that failed to execute search activities for that tool because it did it actually execute the list tools first that is how it has to go the order maybe it will change if you use a different i've tried all three mini as well it also does this mistake of trying to execute the tool first the second time it attempts the tool call it actually finds the different links after the search from brave search so if you go to brave search execute tool you can see the table and the result that it comes back with so in order to avoid that first brave execute you can just give so i have this i'm going to you are a helpful assistant use list tools tool to get all the tools first and then select the best tool for the job you must go through all the list tools first so that if you have like five mcp servers attached it will go through all the list tools and then select which one to execute otherwise it won't find all the tools available and let's reuse that message reset the session save and send that so now it is actually going to the brave list tool it didn't make the mistake let me just add another tool here in our example we have google maps tools for the sake of speed i'm just going to copy these two tools here i'm going to paste that there i'm going to attach these two tools so one is again google maps list tools and execute google maps change that to google maps execute for consistency if you are adding a google maps tool again go to their repository and you can see all the tools that google maps provides get a google maps api key for that you'll have to go to google cloud console and get that api key the same thing npxy you do npxy google maps and then put your google maps api key over there and save it that is pretty much it save that reset this say can you create a one day itinerary for things to do in a morning that are close by in london goes to google maps automatically because we have that get all tools first it is now executing google maps list tools it is doing a map search places and name i don't know why it is giving <laughs> lake chaco which is in russia i think yeah <laughs> not really sure why it is doing that but you get the idea you can tweak the prompt to do that maybe there is in london uk when i said london uk i think this location chat gpt is trying to generate and giving it as a five kilometer radius things to do the location is probably let's ask chat gpt where do these coordinates fall london united kingdom so that has done it properly so all you have to do is add uk to that for some reason the coordinates generated by chat gpt wasn't correct i do add these two as well sometimes if you have a multiple tools attached it doesn't actually look for the best ones or it does come back to user asking for a confirmation sometimes for that to not happen i just say continuously iterate and run tools until the user request is fulfilled if you send a request to a tool and it fails this prompt is just instructing the agent to do the list tools again and look at the parameters again and correct the error if it is a bad request error maybe there's a mismatch in the data input what the tool expects and the llm generates if there is a mismatch it can correct that here so that's what those two lines are so i'll add those as well here i have lead generation flow 
and for example if i have travel planning flow i will just add that here travel planning agent flow then i'll give the steps one two three which tools most of the time you don't need to because we have this get all tools this prompt here it knows how to select sometimes two different mcp servers have the similar functionality for example here you have a brave local search in brave search also google maps if you want to control them at that level that's how you use it that's basically how mcp servers work that's how you use mcp servers in na10 i think that's it i think i have covered everything to get started with na10 and mcp servers yeah these things are important don't get left behind some people think that ai is not going to greatly affect it has already started affecting a lot of things so learn these things you probably don't need to know the technical details but at least learn how what ai agents are even if you're not like a yeah. someone selling ai agents these things are going to be commonly used check out my discord check out my school community we do a hands-on approach i haven't launched it yet i'm still setting it up so that link also will be there i have a discord right now so join the discord now so i'll be porting over the discord and add a little bit more premium features to the school community we'll start with a low price tier to start with to see the interest and everything like that we'll have all the ni10 templates any any errors or anything setup problems etc we will discuss that there a lot of it will be covered in the discord community as well if you don't want to join the school that's fine as well i have a few ni10 templates that i already built that i will put out there soon it's just taking a little bit of time you'll have a base kit for starting an ai agency which i will post there because i'm a coder i'll be doing a lot of vibe coding stuff I will be publishing all my prds product requirements documents for all the tools SaaS tools that i'm doing you can potentially create similar SaaS applications for example so check out discord school check out my products as well all the links are in the description and i'll see you in the next one